everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 2 so today's vlog is gonna be my journey going back to the philippines and yes unfortunately that means it is the end of my life in dubai vlogs but don't worry a lot of vlogs are coming up here in the philippines and yeah later on you'll see my going away dinner and also later on i'll be sharing my requirements and travel experience traveling during the pandemic so if you're interested stay tuned for that and enjoy today's vlogmas Your masterpiece My clothes look real good on ya T-shirt with the rainbow stripe That top is a luxury Oh, so sweet, your company Let's get each other up to speed yeah. I can see the vista up your hills Then I silhouette up on the still Dolly brush truck with the canvas Gotta let the pink dry Bourbon make us feel fine Body heat make the skin cry Baby bang, it's a good night When we wake up still on the best side da -da 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 -da. and welcome to today's vlog bus. So I just finished filming a hotel room tour so you might see me in this look again the next vlog or the next few vlogs. So guys, I am now here in Clark, Pampanga. I finished and survived my 12-hour flight going here. It was such a long journey. Actually, before, I didn't really know how to ba yung flight ko going back here. But... Finally, I am here. Thank you, God, for letting me go back to my country. But today, I'll share with you guys my travel requirements going here to the Philippines, going back to the Philippines. Um, so bear with me, guys, because I'm going to use my iPad. I'm going to read the requirements here because I don't want to miss out on anything. And I don't want to miss out on anything because this is very important. So 
Let's start, shall we? So a background of my stay in Dubai. I stayed there for five months. I went there June 2021 for a vacation. Because my sister lives in Dubai. She doesn't live in the Philippines anymore. Um, so Dubai talaga siya nakatira. So, ayon, I went to visit her because it was my vacation school vacation. I was supposed to go back in August. Unfortunately, na cancel yung flight ko and then na close the yung borders at some point that time. So na rebook nang na rebook yung flight ko. I was supposed to start my college to last October, but I didn't know kung kailan talaga ako makakakuha ng flight going back to the Philippines. So, ayun, that's why I didn't enroll for the term. I'm going to enroll on February pa. So, ayun kasi I didn't want to wake up at 3 a.m., guys. 3 a.m. and hindi ko pa sure kung kailan ako babalik dito to start my usual normal sleeping schedule. Ayun, so I didn't want to sacrifice my health. Anyways, date October, nakakuha kami ng booking for Clark um, on November 27. And mid-November, na-cancel siya. And then, the next day, we called Emirates. We asked them kung fully booked ba talaga or na-cancel ba talaga yung flight. They just said na, um, no, but there will be a little bit of inconvenience because we're gonna go to Cebu first before going to Clark. So pa balik balik and mas matagal yung flight. But ayon, kinaya na namin, kinuwa na namin yung flight because marami din ako kailangan tapusin dito sa Philippines, like for work, for YouTube, for my studies as well. So ayon, we decided to take the flight. By the way, my airline is Emirates and. I love Emirates. Super smooth talaga ng flight kapag sa kanila ka nag-book. So I suggest if you guys are going to Dubai or anywhere na available Emirates, I suggest Emirates. My flight going here was 12 hours. From DXB, um, 8 hours, 8 to 9 hours going to Mactan Cebu International Airport. And then 2 hours of layover there, 2 to 3 hours. And then went here um, for an hour, like from Mactan Cebu to Clark International Airport. So starting off with the travel requirements that I had or I needed to have. First, I need a quarantine hotel booking. I personally am not yet vaccinated, guys. Because in June, I was waiting to get vaccinated, but Metro Manila area palang yung may vaccine that time. After two, three weeks, sa kalan dumating sa Laguna yung vaccine, so I didn't get the chance to get vaccinated right away. And then when I went to Dubai, tourist ako, so I couldn't get the vaccine. For 14 years old below, I think you can, but for uh, 15 years old above, you can't. So, ayun. Hindi pa ako nakapag vaccine, but I am scheduled to get vaccinated next week. So, I'm so excited for that. If you're not yet vaccinated, go get vaccinated na guys. Ayan. You also need your visa, of course. You need your ticket, your plane ticket, of course. And you also need the One Health Pass, which is really important. It's a QRO that you need to fill up before going to the airport from where you're departing from. You also need a vaccination card and an RT-PCR as well. The vaccination card is optional. I mean, it's not optional, but if you're not yet vaccinated, it's okay. But a must is your RT-PCR. You should have done that like within 72 hours before your flight. So I did mine um, 48 hours before my flight, para safer. But yeah, the One Health Pass is really important. If you're gonna be in quarantine, you need to register your COVID test via PadLab. They're also gonna give you a QR code and they're gonna check that once you arrive here in the Philippines. You also need to download the Trace app. For me, hindi naman siya tiningnan. I downloaded it, pero hindi naman siya tiningnan. I'll organize them for you guys in the description box so that you can easily access them. For the hotel booking, by the way, guys, um, if you're going to Naia, go to Naia's website and check out kung saan yung mga registered nila na quarantine hotel accommodations. For Clark, um, I went to Clark International Airport's website and so on to other airports. Also, guys, even though sa Emirates ako nakabook, I also um, look into PAL's website because I feel like mas accurate yon. And six days yung quarantine ko, six days, five nights, and I feel like um, it depends on your age. Um, I feel like for senior citizens, mas matagal yung quarantine if ever you're not yet vaccinated or you don't have your RT-PCR. Um, I think it also depends on the country of origin. For example, ako, galing ako sa UAE, which is in the green list. So, mas 
reduce yung quarantine for me, even if I'm not yet vaccinated. But yeah, so for me naman, for the RT-PCR, they just called me kanina. By the way, they're gonna come here tomorrow, Pad Lab. Um, they're gonna test me here in my hotel and then the result will be uh, the next day na. It's for 2,500 pesos. The room, it really depends. I will put the list of the accredited hotels that you can book at in the description box for Clark because I'm not sure kung ano yung sa Manila but for Clark, I'll put it in the description box. There are cheaper alternatives compared to this hotel. They also have promos, by the way, mga accredited na hotels. They have promos na may kasama ng meals for me sa booking ko dito sa hotel ko. Although I upgraded, um, okay pa din yung price kasi may kasama na siya na food. Um, for the price, guys, it really depends. So, I'll just put the hotel's link in the description box para mas accurate. And, um, you can also get their number there. So, for my experience naman, guys, um, since I came from Dubai International Airport, very high-tech kasi talaga yung airport na yun, guys. And super smooth talaga ng pagpunta ko. Um, hindi na ako kailangan pumila for check-in. Um, I went to the self check in counter, which is like done in like three minutes, so easy. I immediately went to get my One Health Pass checked, and then naka punta na ako agad sa boarding gate ko. It's that easy. You won't be in contact with a lot of people, kasi usually machines yung nakalagay don to detect your temperature and everything. So it's really hassle free. And then pag arrive ko din dito, I'm not sure if it's the same case as when you arrive in Naia, but me arriving here in Clark is super smooth talaga guys, kasi there's a different um, lane for OFWs. PWDs and tourists. So, it's super easy. Um, siguro dun sa pila ng tourists, six people lang ata kami dun. So, it's really fast and super helpful and accommodating din ng mga staff sa Clark International Airport. So, they will interview you once you arrive here in the Philippines. I booked five nights. Or like, they confirmed na um, they're gonna do the swab test on the fifth day, ganon, etc. And then I went to the Department of Tourism's cubicle. Tapos they just confirmed my bookings, etc. Then they gave me a tag na kalagay Quest Hotel para mas madali ako makikita nung magsusundo sa akin. And then I got my bag, got my baggage, and then went out. May nag sa akin to sit sa gilid muna while they arrange my pickup. And then after like 5 minutes, nandun agad si Kuya Ray. Si Kuya Ray yung driver ko going here to Quest. And mag-isa lang ako dun sa car na yun. It's a private car for me. I also booked that with Quest Hotel. Kuya helped me with my baggage and then I went to this hotel. And super dali lang talaga ng process and everything. So basically that's my travel experience and the travel requirements you need to keep in mind during the pandemic so guys i really hope i helped you guys if you're thinking of traveling anytime soon that's my experience and if you guys have any questions put it in the comment section and i'll try my best to answer them all um again for more details check out the description box i'll arrange that for you guys so thank you so much for watching today's vlog Welcome to Vlogmas, by the way. Um, I hope you're enjoying it right now. I think I'm uploading this on Vlogmas Day 2. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on my next vlog, which is tomorrow. Bye-bye.